yesterday on the bus ride home from work, I noticed that everyone is lost into their phone screens. I wouldn't even notice to notice mine. It hit me how we prioritize these these artificial distractions over the beauty of the world around us. It feels like humanity is trapped in these in in a cycle of funny videos, arguments, and constant needs valid of validations. We become enslaved to this hypnotization, yet we embrace it. I'm personally left everything behind and drove to the smallest town in up upstate New York. I took a black and white photo of a landscape at an odd angle, but it doesn't help. I wandered into the into a forest, spending the night under the stars, drinking at the nearest creek, yet it made me sick. The next morning, I considered disconnecting forever, but then I realized if I turn my back on humanity, I'll be this part of the problem that ails me. I wonder, how can I make a difference? Starting a movement and writing essays, it doesn't, it won't, be, it won't be enough. Instead, instead, I found, I found, I found my answer on a simple flower. I decided to, I decided to inspire change through beauty itself. So now, I'm about to get into my car, drive straight to, straight, drive straight to Times Square to remind people of nature's incredible splendor. The most beautiful, the most beautiful thing existing, that exist. Nothing can exceed the quiet splendor and freshness. The fresh, the fresh scent, the peace, the the natu the naturalness around around me all around me in the large in the in the large in con in consonance scenery of my of my land with the with the lake with the lakes and forests the underfoot soil Overhead the sun, I feel the sky, the prairie bays, I feel the ocean and the, and the forest. Somehow I feel the, gro the globe itself shift swimming in space. <laughs>